our guest, Assassin's Creed Shadows, who is uh, Nioe or Naoe, Naoe, I think, and Yasuke, Yasuke, Yazuki, Yasuke. No, Yasuke. Let's get into the video. Sorry, listen. I'm, I'm, I'm butchering names. I'm sorry. I don't know if I said it right, our wrong. Our protagonist, we have two fantasy: the samurai and the shinobi. We want the player to experience both, and we cannot squeeze both fantasy into one character because uh, samurai and shinobi came from a different social class. They have different lives, so we cannot really uh, mix uh, them together. Okay. The historical character of Yasuke presented a oh, really Yasuke. exciting opportunity for the narrative team. We approached it in the same way that uh, so much of the work is done in Assassin's Creed, which is really in terms of research and history first. Not a lot is known about him, but what we did know, or we do know, is that he arrived in Japan in 1579, right when our game starts. Oh! And that he had relationships with some of the most interesting people in our setting, like Oda Nobunaga, the Portuguese, and Jesuits, which made it very sort of tantalizing and enticing from a narrative perspective to come in and, and start weaving these facts. Look at his armor! In between. The more we read about the character, the more he was inspiring for us. He's a foreigner discovering Japan, and we, we thought it's the perfect fit because he's discovering Japan, and you are discovering Japan also. Okay. And on the flip side, we have Naue, who comes... Oh, okay. Naue, I said that right. Area, which is a, a remote uh, mountainous area, fiercely independent, uh, known as the birthplace of Shinobi. So they're very contrasting perspectives that really expose a lot of different sides uh, and facets of the era. When Oda came, uh, he completely destroyed Iga. You have Yasuke and Oda that coming to destroy the shinobi. So it can kind of create this, this interesting tension between two characters. Yeah, I thought it was a bad guy we at first. Able to connect her to uh, the province of Iga and the legendary Igan shinobi historical figure, Fujibayashi Nagato, who's her, who's her father in the game. So we understand okay, why and it's a girl she too. Okay, cool. has the skills that she has and the values that she learns from her father Ooh. and the people of Iga, which are valor, benevolence, and, and wisdom. And as a young person still at the start of the game, we get to see now we acquire even more of that wisdom as the story unfolds. And if you ask anybody, it's super clear that Samurai will be combat heavy and a Shinobi will be stealth heavy. It creates this distinction right away. Yasuke... Uh, bro, he's heavy, bro. All his advantage, uh, his stature, like he's, he's a big guy. He can break door, he can fight multiple enemies, he can break armor. I mean, yeah, he, he way, built like Ray like Lewis. Her character and their, their outfit, it's its really about being stealth, being unseen. She's the only one with the Eden Blade, so they have clear oh advantage to put them into the, the stealth and the combat, even if they can do a, a bit of both. They're a really great pair together because on one side, uh, we have Nawe, who's very intense and passionate and, and determined woman who is very set on her goals. She's kind of got her heart on her sleeve and she'll say what she feels in the heat of the moment. And this intensity uh, that she brings as a shinobi, but that she also brings to her relationship. And this balances very well with Yatsuke, who is sort of a, a thoughtful level head to Nawe's fiery passion. We really thought about somebody like Yasuke, historically, who was able to come to Japan and have the life that he did there to enter service for Oda Nobunaga and mm. achieve all of the things that he did. Like, what kind of person would go through all of this? So our Yasuke Swines. is very uh, intelligent, thoughtful, and respectful of this culture that he encounters. And that makes him a very nice sort of counterpart to Nawe. He's a bit mysterious as well, and that's something we get to see unfold as the. Do we get to pick who, or, or we play? As, we play as both. I'm guessing we play as both, right? That's it. All right, listen. Let me tell you something. Here's how I see it's gonna go down. Obviously, uh, we're probably gonna like go, go through like um, like a little bit of both, like you know, both characters. So I think it's Naoe and uh, Yas Yasuke. Uh, I, I don't I don't know how to say bro's name. I'm so sorry about if, if I butchered it and messed it up. Um, but I, I like his name, Na Naoe. So I keep saying his, my, my, my bad, my fault. So this is actually a girl. At first in the trailer, I'm so I was so caught up in everything. I thought that was a guy. I didn't I didn't even think that was a girl. Whatever. Until I heard the voice, I was like, wait a minute, is that a girl? Um, and I think at the end of the trailer, at the end of the video yesterday, 
I said yes yesterday. At the end of the video today, uh, I think yeah, I did say it was a girl. But um, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Here's what here's what I say. Because Assassin's Creed is all about like you know stealth and stuff like that. Bro, I hate being stealthy, bro. I'm a running gun type of guy. Whenever I play games like Hitman and you know and, and Assassin's Creed, bro, I always get caught. <laughs> Listen, I always get caught. I'm, I'm always getting seen. And at the end of the day, bro, I, like, I could try to do stealthy, but that's just not my... Bro, I'm, I'm much more of like a runner gun, like running gunner or like I'm just wild and stuff like that. Um, which, yes, I, I see why I die most of the times in, in, in video games, but uh, that, that's just who I am. That's, that's just my style and stuff like that. So I think in this game, what I think is going to happen is that we're probably going to play us both for a little bit um, and then... We're probably gonna have to like switch in between characters, so, kind of like on some GTA type of stuff, to where like we switch between characters like during like each mission and stuff like that. Or we could probably be having like a mission between like when they're like both involved and uh, like li like like legit probably gonna have to like like switch between like characters and stuff like that, which is nice because I don't think we've ever had that in Assassin's Creed. I, I don't think so. Like here's the thing, I, I haven't played all Assassin's Creed games, uh, but I, I played most of them. And uh, to, just to be honest with you. I wonder what the gameplay is going to be like because I already know the girl's going to be, bro, she's going to be quick, sharp. Of course, uh, like like the uh, one of the directors says, she's going to be very, like, stealthy and stuff like that. Um, which, in my opinion, is, it, it, you know, it's cool. It's the Assassin's Creed way um, of you, you know, you kind of have to be stealthy because um, that's just like, 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 that's just like the game's mechanic. But then this guy right here, he's like big. He, bro, he's like Brock Lesnar. He's like a, he's like a Ray Lewis. He's like a, he's like a Brian Erlacher. He's just big and heavy and like, he's strength. Like, I, I like that. I'm, listen, I might have to use him more. Um, other than that, man, I'm really excited for the game. Comes out November 15th. I didn't even know an Assassin's Creed game was dropping this year. Uh, just, just let alone, uh, I, that we would get like some some information about it. They gave us a whole three four minutes about the trailer, and then obviously you know they released this. I think they released this like a minute after the original like world premiere trailer. Other than that, man, I'm pretty excited uh, for the game. Um, already, here's what I'll say. This girl, I can't lie, she seems cold. Like she seems cold blooded. I like her a lot, but I can't lie to you. I, I don't know why. I, I'm rocking. I'm rocking with him. I'm rocking with him heavy. I I don't know why. Maybe it was just the armor. Uh, maybe it's just because this guy's just Bruce strength or whatever, but I'll, listen, here's what I know. She's going to be fire and he's going to be fire too. And, uh, obviously he's going to be like more of like the brute strength. She's going to be more of like the quick, uh, like just, 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 uh, roll behind people, stabbing them, then rolling back. And then she's going to pull out a, a, a katana and, and go crazy. So other than that, I'm pretty excited for the game comes on November fifteenth, so I'm, I'm definitely I'm, I'm, for some reason, right? Whenever I get like a date in my head, I, I, I usually don't forget it. Um, so, you know, listen, we'll see. Comment down below. What do you guys think about uh just about the news today? Because I was not expecting any of this. What do you guys think about the news so far? What do you guys think about the trailers, etc.? Uh, let me know down below in the description. I said in the description. I'm, I, I, listen, I'm so like I'm, my words, they're, they're, like I'm stuttering. I'm, I'm snapping up the words, but also I'm not at the same time. Like. Bro, like, it, it just caught me off guard. Like, I wasn't even expecting it. Like, Ubisoft, why would you do that? Like, why would you, like, call me? Bro, bro, I'm literally about to record. I was literally about to record a Warzone video. Bro. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. That's the notification. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Bro. I, and then I see Assassin's Creed live notification. I'm like, bro, what is this? Like, what? Like, is this some type of DLC? Like, I was going to do it anyway. But then I, then I see Assassin's Creed Shadows. I'm like, hold up. Like, wait, whoa. Ring, ding, 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 ding. I'm like, hold up. This is an actual, like, new game. So, you know, of course, I had to check it out. So, you guys are the next one. I'm out. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and 